Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a table of contents to a Microsoft Word document. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft tutorials. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now you'll see here that I have a Word doc which contains a series of sections. So introduction, overview, context, and outcome. Essentially these different sections are what I would expect to be displayed in my table of content. And then below those section titles, I have the actual text. Now in order to add a table of contents to a Word doc, what you need to do is you need to actually apply what is called a header style to the sections that you want to appear in your table of contents. Now to do this, you wanna make sure you are on the home tab and you want to scroll over to the styles group and you wanna click on the drop down arrow and you wanna go ahead and select a heading style, okay? Now you'll notice that there are two options here. There's heading and heading two and you also have the option to create your own style if you wanted uh, to define you know, a specific type of font or color or italicized font, uh, bold, etc. Now what I'll do is I will just go ahead and select heading one and you're going to notice that my section header introduction has changed. It's now larger in size and it's blue and you'll also notice that there's this little arrow that will actually allow me to collapse that section. Now what I'll do is I will quickly apply this header style to all of my sections. And again, I'm just gonna highlight those section titles and apply the heading. And so again, you're going to see all of those sections have now updated to reflect that specific format. Next, what you want to do is you want to click on the references tab and you'll notice here the table of contents button. If you actually click on this, you can see that there are a bunch of different out of the box table of content styles. Um, you wanna go ahead and click on automatic if you want to leverage Microsoft Word's out of the box ability to update your table of contents whenever you add new sections or change the page numbers associated with the section. So I will just go ahead and click on automatic table two. And what you're going to notice is the table of contents has now been added. Now, let's say I updated the introduction section to you know, title, for example. If you want to update your table of contents, what you want to do is click into it and you'll see here this update table button. Clicking on that, you can see it automatically updated the title section to reflect that change that was made. Now, if I wanted to demonstrate what would happen if I just move some text onto another page, so I'm just going to move that text onto another page. And if I come back into my table of contents and click on update tables, you'll notice I have two options. I can either update the page numbers only, or if I wanna make sure that I've caught all the changes, I could click update entire table. Uh, I tend to just recommend that you select that one to make sure that your table of contents is always up to date. And if you go ahead and click okay, then you are going to notice that the overview, context, and outcome sections are now displayed as being on page two. Now the last thing that I'll show you is sometimes I have had a requirement to include uh, numbering on my sections. And so right now you can see these sections just feature uh, you know, text. Now if you wanted to apply some numbering, for example, uh, so if I wanted to just go ahead and apply numbering here, so you can see section one title, for example, and if I click into my table of contents and click update table and click update entire table, you can also have automatic numbering apply and display in your table of contents. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to add a table of contents to a Microsoft Word document. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Word tutorials. I'm Louis Acabellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.